Here we are in uh, Myla Yacht Harbour, Falmouth, on the deck of Minard, all teak varnished, John Alden sloop. <clears throat> Yacht laid teak deck over a marine plywood sub deck. Yeah, and the bows, the Fackner roller furling system, nice uh, inset bronze fair leads, twin stainless steel bow rollers. This is a Simpson Lawrence single speed manual windlass. All varnished teak, coach roof combings, handrails, bronze portholes. Nice uh, period navigation lights either side. Stainless standing rigging with bronze rigging screws and internal bronze chain plates. Mast has been recently stripped and revarnished. It's a hollow box section. Original roller furling boom, now converted to slab reefing. With a fairly recent good quality sail. All the running rigging through turning blocks, led back after the coach, uh, to the cockpit along the coach roof. Stack pack system on the mainsail. Here into the very large, comfortable cockpit. Pair of original chrome bronze, non-self-tailing winches. And a pair of more modern self-tailing Lumar 43s. Laminated teak boom gallows. To which the spray hood is fixed. There's a Lumar 14 winch for all the running rigging coming back through clutches. This is a Bimini here, fold currently folded back, folds out to give shade to the cockpit and wind generator there on the aft end. Tiller here currently tied up out of the way. Drops down with a tiller pilot. And the companion hatch then down below. Here we are down below on Minard, John Alden sloop built at the Wing on Shing shipyard in 1961. Rather typical of the Hong Kong built boats, these uh, carved teak panels. Lots of varnished teak in here, combings, bulkheads, interior fit out. Starboard here is the galley. Single stainless sink, 
with pressurized hot and cold water. Taylor's 043 gas stove, two burner gimbaled with a grill. Top loading 12 volt fridge and storage space here as well. Port, you've got a quarter berth here, good length quarter berth, and here's a canvas roll down curtain, a little bit of privacy in the quarter berth if you've got a full boat. Here's the chart desk, forward facing with a Raymarine C120 plotter and integrated AIS, Icon DSC VHF above your head here. Here we've got vertical grab rails. A very uh, a big feeling of space in here. A wide beam, the boat, typical American design. And you're not shut in by bulkheads. Main saloon with a drop leaf varnished teak table. And saloon settee berth either side. With a trotter box here at the aft end to increase the length. Same on the starboard side. Moving forward, solid varnish teak door through the bulkhead. To starboard here under the deckhead is a big storage bin, wet locker, all your safety gear with cubby holes outboard. Heads compartment to port, Jabsco manual sea toilet, and a porcelain hand basin with hot and cold water. Here's the main mast, keel stepped, it's a hollow box section mast, newly varnished. And into the fore cabin, two single V berths with an infill comes to the door level to make it a double if required. Four hatch above. Lots of storage space, various lockers, and uh, beyond, right in the bows, is the anchor locker. See these bronze hanging knees here? on both bulkheads, either side of the mast, just to stiffen the hull. Moving back aft, into the main saloon. Steps here over the engine box. It up. Here's a beater, four cylinder, 38 horsepower. And back outside.